Welcome back to another My Hero Academia anime versus manga comparison video breaking down season 6 episode 6 titled Encounter Part 2 which happens to be the same title as chapter 275 and is a reference to the season 2 finale titled Encounter where Shigaraki and Deku run into each other at the mall. We'll be going over all the changes made from the manga to anime adaptation and of course if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe with notifications on so that you don't miss a video and if you want to further support the channel then please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the join button. To start things off, the police HQ make a return in the episode and I have to say I really did enjoy how the anime uses them to show how the people behind the operation were starting to panic as these events began to unfold in real time as all communications with the heroes were cut leaving them in the dark about Shigaraki and the scale of destruction caused by his decay. After the opening we get a ton of new shots showing the other heroes at the villa fighting and taking down villains. The scene with Geten and Cementos blocking his ice with some cement walls is pretty much an anime only addition right up until Mount Lady starts destroying the ice but even that was changed in a big way since in the manga Mount Lady destroys Geten's ice with her fists instead of a cement bat. This to me is a welcome change though as it's always fun to see heroes work together by combining the use of their quirks. Mount Lady equals giant bat. It was pretty fun. When Makia is about to burst out of the ground we get an added shot of Cementos, Kamui Woods and Mount Lady looking shook. Also the scene showing a villain coming out of Geten's ice to attack gang Orca got cut from the anime completely as it never makes it into this episode. Dabi smirking as he realizes Shigaraki must be awake is an anime only addition. Switching over to Shigaraki, him hearing all for one before the arrival of Endeavor is half adapted from the source material and half anime only as him hearing all for one happens as soon as Endeavor arrives and not before. The added shot of Deku from the back was a really nice touch as well though it is a little disappointing that we didn't get to see Shigaraki use search to find one for all in the split second of Endeavor using his super move Hell's Curtain. For some amazing attention to detail in the episode and specifically Endeavor's fight against Shigaraki the anime actually shows the onomatopoeia effects on the screen. It really does hammer in that comic booky feel that you get from the series, especially since we get a lot of that in the anime's opening. It's a neat reference to My Hero Academia being inspired by American comics, but it is a little weird to see in the anime as it makes me wonder why implement this at all now when the anime has left them out of countless fights. Either way, I really love this addition and I hope this ends up becoming more of a common thing for the anime and hopefully for the next movie as well. Of course, I have to give Bones and more specifically the animators praise for having a ton of Sakuga animation for the Shigaraki vs Endeavor fight. Takahiro Komori popped off for this section of the episode to finally see Endeavor yeet Shigaraki into the ground from the air as well as Shigaraki blocking Endeavor's attack with a barrier looked phenomenal. Plus the addition of seeing everyone listening to Endeavor's comms and Endeavor making the observation of Shigaraki having multiple quirks like a Nomu was a nice touch as well. When present Mike is explaining the search quirk we get an added shot of Shigaraki's eye using the search quirk. For an insane insane amount of attention to detail, Shigaraki locating one for all and smiling was absolutely spine tingling. I can't believe they gave that much detail to Shigaraki's face in that moment. For another great addition, we actually get to see Shigaraki pushing away Endeavor so he couldn't make his way to one for all. Switching over to Deku, this Wolverine looking guy gets some added dialogue and we actually get to see the homie Funk Man dead. And a close up of Bakugo listening in on Endeavor's comms is added as well. Seeing Deku swing through the ruined city using Black Whip like Spider-Man has to be one of my favorite little added on scenes. It just looks so clean and makes me wonder why there hasn't been a Spider-Man anime yet. When Deku moves away from the evacuation site the panel showing Shigaraki in the air while Search highlights everyone's quirks doesn't get adapted either. We also get an added shot of Endeavor's eye as 
he thinks about how Deku was able to lure Shigaraki away from the evacuation site. After the amazing scene animated by Shun Shibata of Shigaraki creating an EMP blast to disrupt the hero's communications with each other, we get an added shot of everyone's communicator devices stop working. The anime adds in a dope scene showing the EMP activating the surviving near high-end Nomu tanks that were underground. The perspective of Shigaraki seeing the highlighted quirks of explosion and one for all right before he arrives to Deku and Bakugo is removed from the anime. Deku and Bakugo's close encounter with death was animated by Shingo Abe. The animation here was so perfect and it really felt like Horikoshi's art had come to life through the anime. For an odd little addition, Ryukyu ends up flapping her wings so hard that it sends Shigaraki up to the sky, where in the manga she only just hits him up into the air. I don't really mind the change at all, it's just a little odd addition that didn't really need to be there because she just further sends him up into the air with her smack right after that. I guess she just really wanted to juggle Shigaraki. When Aizawa has some flashbacks from his past, we see the day Shirakumo dies, which is from the My Hero Academia spin-off Vigilantes, but the anime replaces the panel of Shirakumo having goggles with the anime version of Shirakumo. After Kido changes Endeavor's trajectory, the anime doesn't adapt Ryukyu saying that Shigaraki can't use his quirks. The scene of Shigaraki dodging Endeavor's attack by using the force of the swing of his arm to move himself in midair was absolutely godlike. Akiko Otsuka killed it with the animation here, as it truly displayed how Shigaraki and Endeavor are two entirely different beasts in terms of strength, and it was very reminiscent reminiscent of when Deku did the same thing fighting against Overhaul. Continuing on, Manuel, Endeavor, and Shigaraki all get some added dialogue. When Gran Torino is explaining why they still had to be somewhat close to Shigaraki's location so that Shigaraki doesn't outrun all of the heroes trying to stop him to keep chasing Deku, the anime doesn't adapt the map showing where everyone on Team Endeavor was currently at during the explanation. Instead, it was replaced with Ryukyu flying around the sky fighting alongside Endeavor against Shigaraki. And for the final changes in the episode, we get an added shot of Burnin and Kido as well as added dialogue for Burnin, Deku, and Gran Torino. The episode ends with the near high-end Nomu arriving to kill every person in sight as ordered by Shigaraki. Now, episode 119 adapts about three chapters, them being the rest of chapter 273, chapters 274, 275, and half of chapter 276. This episode was absolutely amazing. Every time there was some fighting going on on the screen, it just didn't disappoint. And if you are a manga reader, then you know the really big action set pieces have yet to be animated, which has me excited to see what they have in store for the episodes to come in the future. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on the changes made in episode 119. Did you enjoy the animation this episode? Let me know everything in the comment section below. With that said, thank you all for watching another My Hero Academia anime vs manga comparison video and if you enjoyed the video then be sure to Detroit smash that like button below and don't forget to share this video with your friends. If you are new to the channel and you want to see more My Hero Academia content then be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on to join the Kidoroki Hero Academia to become my hero. Doing all of this really does help the channel out a ton and it's always appreciated. Remember to stay plus ultra and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.